Lost continents. Entire land masses sinking into the ocean, never to be seen again. Most of us only know of one. Atlantis. The big fish, no pun intended, that always seems to pop up in popular culture to this very day. But tales like Atlantis are just that. Tales, myths, legends. Yet Atlantis wasn't the only lost continent ever thought up. And in fact, for a time, there was another continent that was thought to have existed, but it wasn't proposed by Plato or some science fiction writer. Instead, this was a continent hypothesized in the name of paleontology and geology to explain the unexplainable. How the hell did these lemur fossils end up on three different continents? This is the story of science being before its time. A story of how recent our understanding of the world really is. This is the story of Lemuria, the supposed lost continent in the Indian Ocean. In 1864, Zoologist Philip Schlater, career lawyer and export ornithologist, discovered that lemur fossils found on Madagascar were similar to fossils found in India and Australia. And it's unlikely lemurs had the naval capabilities to just sail all over. So how did these bones spread out across the Indian Ocean? Schlater hypothesized the only explanation was a vast triangular-shaped continent that once existed stretching across the entire ocean. He deemed this now lost land Lemuria. This was not a unique revelation or idea at the time for somebody to propose a land bridge as an explanation for an anomaly. Before our modern technology to map out the ocean floor, there was no acceptance of continental drift. Continents were seen as stationary. Lemuria wasn't the first land bridge proposed, but it was the first time somebody gave one a fancy name, and it stuck. Natural science in the 19th century was in an odd spot. On one hand, there was Darwin, who brought forth the idea of evolution, while on the other hand, it was still the 19th century. So some people used the scientific method to intelligently and eloquently describe their stupid ideas. In 1868, Ernst Haeckel, a biologist, proposed the idea that Lemuria was actually the origin of the human race. He had already disputed Darwin's out of Africa theory, and for a time there was a contested debate over which continent was really humanity's origin. Haeckel and a few others stuck to the claim that humanity had evolved from Asia instead, and Lemuria sort of just attached itself to this. There were no early human fossils discovered yet in Africa, and so the only explanation to Haeckel was that they existed on Lemuria, and then Lemuria sank. It was this claim that popularized Lemuria in the public conscious. Proposals by Haeckel in his The History of Creation were that every race was actually an entirely separate species that had independently evolved in Lemuria, then spread out to their respective homelands. Now, it wasn't just Western Europeans that loved the idea of Lemuria. In fact, it took on a nationalistic bent for another people, the Tamil people of Sri Lanka. You see, there is a Tamil legend where the people descended from a lost great civilization named Kamari Kandam which came from a continent that sank beneath the ocean. Sound familiar? Is it coincidence? Yes, yes it is. As the 1870s and 1880s came along, the conversation around Lemuria was less around the land bridge aspect and more the cult aspect. Elena Petrovna, I'm not pronouncing that, also known as Mother Blavatsky, was born in the Russian aristocracy and at a young age had traveled throughout Asia. It was from this experience that she created her own ideology, you could say, based on teachings from Indian and Buddhist philosophy, called Theosophy, following the teachings of the masters as they called it. Jesus, Abraham, Mohammed, Buddha, Confucius. But what's more important here is that to Mother Blavatsky, Lemuria was real. It wasn't simply a lost continent, nor a home to a lost empire. It was home to a race of hermaphroditic, egg-laying, four-armed giants called Lemurians, who had special psychic energy and connections to the cosmos. These were one of the original seven human races who lived with dinosaurs before the continent sunk. So yeah, that's where the conversation went. Thankfully, Alfred Wegener proposed the theory of plate tectonics in 1912 as an answer to all of the questions the scientific community had been pondering about for decades. The continents 
simply drifted, which meant these lemur fossils were once much closer together. Everyone collectively agreed that this made more sense, and the idea of Lemuria died forever. Just kidding, the scientific community dismissed the idea outright and Wegener died in 1930 without ever seeing his ideas accepted. Continental drift wouldn't be accepted until 20 years after his death, once radar was invented and we could actually map out the ocean floor. Lemuria was proposed in the mid-19th century and really didn't go away from the scientific discussion until the mid-20th. Once continental drift was actually accepted, the fictions about lost continents were dispelled by the mainstream, only to remain in the small niche communities of crackpots, occultists, and the History Channel, all sparked from lemur fossils. Wow. Imagine thinking a continent was in the middle of the Indian Ocean. How crazy. You know what's also crazy? Thinking you're safe on the internet. This video was sponsored by NordVPN. Really? That was, that was your segue? I mean, yeah, you tried connecting 19th century geology with a virtual private network service. How about, uh, no? Uh, all right, fine, I guess that works. Thank you. NordVPN helps protect your IP anywhere you are. There are over 5,400 plus servers in 59 countries for you to use. You can now even have your own IP address from Lemuria. Wait. They don't have that? Oh, come on, this whole time I was expecting <laughs> If you want to secure your internet today, NordVPN has a special offer. By clicking the link in the description, nordvpn.com slash althist, and use the code althist, you get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. It's risk-free, with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Lemurians use NordVPN every day, and you would never know because they can be any one of us. So once again, nordvpn.com slash althist. Use the code althist, get a two-year plan plus one additional month at a huge discount. You can't have your IP address be set directly in the middle of the Indian Ocean, but I'm gonna hope that they're working on that. It's still a good deal. Trust me, Jimmy.